Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to the channel today. I appreciate you being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, welcome. It's good to have you. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button. And to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out those links below. And in those links below, I would encourage you to go sign up for our free email newsletter. I mean, it's completely free and it's additional resources to help you grow and develop your business. So check that out. And so with that said, our topic for you today, it's seven things every gym business needs. Seven things every gym business needs. And we can start here at the ownership level on this. If you're a manager, if you're a salesperson, a sales manager, whatever it might be, seven things every gym business needs. Take a look at this and relate it to you. Okay, and how are we doing on some of these and what can we do better? And what I would encourage everyone to do is, you know, use this channel as an additional resource because many of these topics we've covered in some pretty good detail here in the channel. And we have nearly uh, 1,200 videos here on the channel, virtually all of them how to, to again help you grow and help, your, help uh, you uh, uh, develop your business all for free. Okay, so seven things every gym business needs. Number one, an idea or a dream, an idea or a dream. And it needs to be a visible idea, okay? You know, we gotta be able to see this idea, what is it? And so here's what I would talk about here, is, you know, what is your idea? What is your dream, you know? But what is your differentiation? You know, if you're a salesperson, a manager, an owner, whatever it might be, what is your differentiation? What are you doing that nobody else is doing? What are you doing that is better than what anybody else is doing? What are you bringing to the marketplace that nobody else is doing? Okay, you, you need that kind of an idea. You need that kind of a dream, you know, for what you're trying to do. So look at differentiation there and, you know, give a good hard look at it. Sometimes those things can change a little bit, which is okay. Okay, just make sure that we know what it is. Number two, it's a love or a passion for the concept. Then you have to have strong levels of passion. You've got this, here, here's this dream, here's this idea, then you've got to have a passion for it. You've got to believe in it, okay? And one of the things we talk about you know, so frequently is the first sale that you make, no matter what you do, the first sale you have to make is that sale you make to yourself. I'm talking about the passion, the belief, the conviction. You know, in the selling sense, can you solve your customer's problem? Do you have the best gym to solve their problem? Is now the best time to solve it? Do you have that kind of passion? You need to if you want to have that high level of success because it changes everything when that starts to happen. So a love or a passion for the concept. Take a look at where you're at right now. You know, many folks say they do but the numbers don't, over, don't always back them up. And I would say this, if at any level you're not hitting your numbers, you may not have the passion that you think you do and may need to you know, look at that, reevaluate that a bit. Number three, you know, seven things every gym business needs, tenacity or gumption, you know, tenacity, you know, persistence. We're gonna keep going. You know, when you stop doing something, that's the one time I can absolutely guarantee results. You mean stop doing something. You've got to have this tenacity. You've got to keep going. You get knocked down, you keep going back. Okay? You have you understand there's going to be roadblocks and setbacks. You understand them. You've got to plan for it if that happens. We're going to keep going. Gumption. I mean, one of the things I talk about a lot is decent boldness. Decent boldness. What do I mean by decent? We're friendly, we're courteous, we're respectful. What do I mean by bold? Well, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. But think about this. You got this great idea. You got this great passion for it. And now you're, you got this tenacity. And now you got this decent boldness. You know, now you've got something that's going to work. You know, because ultimately, you know, how sales has been defined over the years, it's a transfer of enthusiasm, transfer of belief, a transfer of passion, transfer of conviction. If I have it, I'm going to transfer it to you. Number four on seven things every gym business needs. Experience, 
knowledge, education, and training. Experience, knowledge, education, and training. You have to have a well-trained staff. You, you have to be focused on getting better all the time. And so first thing, use this channel. You know, we have nearly 1,200 videos here by now that m most of them are how-to in nature to help you grow and get better. What's your commitment, you know, to getting better? This is going to be a free resource for you. Won't cost you anything, okay? But we need that experience, that knowledge, that education, and that training. You know, I, I recall, you know, for you folks that don't know that story, when I first got started in the business and I was struggling at it, and I was sitting with a group of, of sales guys commenting that, hey, how do you get good at this, okay? And the guy says, well, Jim, are you serious? Do you really want to, you know, become good at this? I said, well, yeah. And he had a three-ring binder. It was probably an inch and a half thick kind of tosses it at me. He goes, you go memorize that and you'll be fine. And it was large part sales and operations and management. And there were some also some, some fitness uh, components in there. He goes, go memorize that and you'll be fine. And I took those words to heart. And literally I shut down everything I did on a personal level. And all I did was study that manual. So I knew everything in that manual. I knew it. I memorized it. And within a matter of 30 days, I went from being the dead last salesperson out of four clubs to number one out of four. And six months later, I was the manager. And a short time later, I was building my first club. Okay, it all came from that moment. But don't underestimate the knowledge, the education, the training. Okay, you have to be getting better. You have to be getting better every single day. If you're in charge of those kind of things, make sure we're training every day, every week with our staff because you're either going to get better or you're going to get worse. Number five on seven things every gym business needs, uh, a plan or a roadmap. You need a business plan. You need a plan of action. You need a roadmap. So depending on where you're at, you know, at the ownership level, if you're just getting started, it's probably going to be that business plan. Um, or, you know, once you're up and going, maybe it's a regular plan of action. Okay. And you can search this channel. We actually have a video on how to write a plan of action and, and what we suggest having in there. You can check that out. But a plan of action. If you don't have a plan, how do you know where you're going? I mean, it's like, it's like getting in the car and you're going to drive somewhere and you don't have a map or you don't have GPS. You're just going to take off going. May not work out too well. Same thing here. You know, have a plan. And this is one of the, another one of the common denominators that I see when I go into clubs that are struggling, they're not maximizing their potential. One of the common denominators, they don't have a written plan. They just kind of wing it. And what happens when you wing it, you kind of become victim of circumstance a little bit. So whatever they're throwing at you, you're just kind of bouncing it off and going. Have a plan, have a strategy on how you're going to work this. Okay. And part of that, you know, is roadblocks and setbacks. You know, what kind of roadblocks and setbacks do we anticipate if they happen, when they happen, how are we going to deal with them? Okay. Uh, number six, seven things every gym business needs. Money. Okay. Money. You know, if you're a brand new salesperson, if you're just getting started, it's good to have a little cushion. You know, don't walk in there thinking I've got to, you know, I've got to be, you know, a record setting salesperson right off the gate. You know, have a little cushion in there or access to that. You know, if we're in the business, you know, one of the things that I suggest is we want to keep on hand, cash on hand, at least one month's operating expense. And so if it's costing us, you know, 50000 a month to run the place, let's have $50,000 in an account over here. But you want to have money. And, you know, for, for gym owners and operators, one of the things I always suggest is always be looking for funds. You may not need them today, but the hiccup might be tomorrow and you might need them. Or a, a nice opportunity might come up tomorrow and you might need them. Okay, always be looking. And so with that said, I would point you to the, uh, the links below on funding. Um, you know, we can help provide funding and you can get funded for up to, you know, $300,000 uh, in funds. Um, have it within 7 to 10 days uh, with a, a 680 credit score and income of $50,000 per year. So, you know, you want to have the access to that. So check that out. But money is a key component, of course. Okay. And then... Number seven on seven things every gym business needs, it's help and assistance along the way. Help and assistance along the way. Get someone to help you. 
Don't go it alone. Don't make this trial and error. Trial and error can be so expensive, okay? It can run you out of business, okay? So get help, get assistance. You want to find people and surround yourself with folks that have been there, that have done it, that can help you shorten the learning curve and help maximize your profitability, okay? Don't make this guesswork. Okay. The other thing that I see is true and we go in and, you know, we're the one helping and assisting so many folks, they become isolated. And when they become isolated, kind of two things happen. They go overboard on the trial and error, trying to find something that works and end up burning through all their cash or, you know, they really withdraw and really don't do anything and they kind of paralyze the company. Okay. Cause what you want, you want to know what the answer is. What's the answer? You don't want to have to go digging it up and hoping you found the right one. So get help and get assistance along the way. Okay. And for for you sales folks and folks like that, uh, you know, use this channel. I mean, use this channel. We have over 1200 videos or close to it, um, on how to, and how to run your business and how to make a sale and how to manage. Okay. Use this as this can be your help in many cases. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is fitness management and consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. And if you've not yet done so, please subscribe. Please hit the like button uh, to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take your business to that next level. You know, please check out those links below. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.